First, the Church of England is drumming up money for a £1 billion fund to address the legacy of slavery, which, according to the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, is only the beginning of a multi-generational response to the appalling evil of transatlantic chattel enslavement. It comes at the same time as the Church is hiring an anti-racism officer to, quote, deconstruct whiteness, and that's not all the Church has been wasting, and it's whopping £10 billion endowment on. Last week, all parishes were told to draw up a race action plan after a pro-BLM bishop of Dover told the church to embrace being woke. Meanwhile, Justin Welby is still doing his level best to thwart the government's Rwanda plan after he voted it down in the House of Lords today and said this. Rise in international human rights law uh, grew out of the horrors of the 1940s where a government that in 1933 in Germany had been legally and properly elected passed horrific laws that did terrible things. It's brought up Hitler and the Nazis. And let's not forget, the church stands accused of helping migrants submit completely bogus asylum claims, all while parishes are closing at the fastest rate since records began. So has the Church of England become a woke lobby group instead of a religion? I'm joined now by the former chaplain to our late Queen Elizabeth, Dr Gavin Ashenden. Thank you very much. Is the Church of England now not a religion, just a woke lobby group? Well, Patrick, it's doing a very good imitation of being a woke lobby group, if it is still a religion. The, the trouble is, the ideas the Archbishop of Canterbury is promulgating in the public space are anti-Christian. They, they've got nothing to do with the faith. Um, and, I, I mean, he wasn't always like this. I think he's become, I think he's lost his way. But undoubtedly, these latest schemes involving reparations and racism have nothing to do with Christianity. And, and just at a time when the church really needs re invigorating and a new vision of what it really is all about. I mean, other religions aren't shy about their faith. Other religions are absolutely banging the drum. I mean, I would love to see the attendances at mosques versus the attendances at local parish churches and track their correlation uh, and their incline or decline, respectively. But yeah, we'll be here talking about a £1 billion fund to say sorry for slavery. Does he have anything to say sorry for? Well, he really doesn't. Uh, I mean, first of all, there are so many things wrong with this. We don't believe in ancestral guilt. Um, we believe in putting things right in this generation between people who've fallen out. We, there's, there is nothing else in which we hold our ancestors accountable for. What's happened, of course, is that we've imported a piece of American guilt without any expiration of it. And we, we don't believe in tainted money either. It's as if the Archbishop has an idea that there are sort of gold ingots somewhere which are stained with somebody else's blood. Money doesn't work like that. And once again, there, are, there is no money that we make accountable and treats as though it kind of carries a, a, a level of, of guilt with it. Mm. But most importantly, Christianity, Christians don't believe in racism. We, we believe, that may sound a, stra a strange thing to do, but the trouble is racism is much too narrow a concept. The idea we fall out with our neighbour just because of the color, color of their skin is ludicrous. There the, are the all kinds of reasons why people dislike their neighbours. And to be a Christian is to, is to no longer see anybody in racial terms at all. You can't be a racist if you're a Christian, and, and, uh, and if you're a racist, you're not a Christian. So the thing to do, is, if the Archbishop doesn't like racism, is to make more people more people Christians and to make Christians more Christian. What he's doing is a, is a sub-Christian nonsense. Well, and indeed, some of the things that he has uh, apparently been doing, or certainly under the church's name, have actually been willingly baptising people who are certainly not Christian in order for them to game our asylum system. And what I thought was interesting about that as well is that they initially denied all of this stuff and said there's nothing to see here. And now, a couple of months later, they've decided to launch a review into it all. But look, thank you very, very much. Great to have you on. I'll have you back on because no doubt it's only a week or so until Welby does something else like this. That's the former yeah, chaplain to our late Queen Elizabeth, Dr Gavin Ashenden. Now, following this announcement, of the new £1 billion target, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, said this. In seeking justice for all, we must continue to work together, remembering that all are created in the image of God. The Oversight Group's independent work with the Church Commissioners is the beginning of a multi-generational response to the appalling evil of transatlantic chattel enslavement. My prayer is that this work will stimulate further visionary and practical co-created action.